Just 21 years old, Letzel Tobogo made Olympic history by becoming the first African to win the men's 200-meter title. He not only secured the gold, but also humiliated Noah Lyles in the finals, repeating his semifinal victory. Let's break down Tobogo's journey to the gold medal. The men's 200-meter final at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games was a highly anticipated race, featuring some of the fastest athletes in the world. The race included Noah Lyles from the United States, who had already secured the gold medal in the 100 meters. As the reigning world champion from Eugene and Budapest, Lyles entered the race as the clear favorite. His dominance in the 200-meter event has been unmatched for years, and on paper, he held the fastest time globally since 2018. Many considered him the undisputed favorite, with expectations that it would take an extraordinary effort for anyone to beat him. However, Lyles faced fierce competition from other top athletes, including Kenny Bednarek and Letzel Tobogo Bednarek, who had clocked an impressive 19.59 seconds, and Tabogo from Botswana, who had upset Lyles in the semifinals with a time of 19.96 seconds, were both seen as serious threats. The 200-meter final was considered one of the most challenging moments of Lyles' career. Although he had already won the 100 meters, achieving a double victory would place him in the same league as Usain Bolt, the last man to accomplish this feat. Lyles had previously stated that the 200 meters was his favorite event on the track, but any Anything could happen on race day. As the race began, Lyles, Tobogo, and Bednarek sprinted through the opening 100 meters, setting the stage for an intense finish. Lyles was known for his incredible finishing speed, while Tobogo had the potential to challenge him, and Bednarek was expected to be close behind. With 50 meters to go, Tobogo surged ahead, displaying an uncatchable burst of speed. He finished in 19.46 seconds, breaking the African record and becoming the fifth fastest athlete in men's 200-meter history, surpassing Arion Knighton's previous record of 19.49 seconds. Letzile Tobogo also became the first African to win the men's Olympic 200-meter title. Noah Lyles, the favorite, hoped to add a 200-meter gold to his 100-meter win, but he couldn't match Tobogo's incredible performance. Lyles finished with a bronze at the 2024 Paris Olympics. After the race, Lyles revealed he had been diagnosed with COVID-19 just two days before. Right after the race, he was seen asking for water and crouching down, later sitting on the side of the track as medical staff attended to him. Him. Photos and videos showed him being taken off the track in a wheelchair. Meanwhile, Tobogo stole the show with an outstanding run, leaving Lyles and the rest behind. Knighton finished fourth with a time of 19.99 seconds, followed by the Dominican Republic's representative Alexander Ogando in fifth place with 20.02 seconds. Makarawu from Zimbabwe took sixth place with 20.10 seconds, while Fanbule and Charamba from Zimbabwe rounded out the top eight. The estimated split times for the race revealed that Bednarek had taken an early lead, completing the first 100 meters in an extreme 10.10 .10 seconds. Tobogo was close behind with 10.12 seconds, and Lyles was in third place with 10.18 seconds. However, Tobogo's performance in the final 100 meters was nothing short of spectacular. He closed the gap with a stunning 9.34 seconds, significantly faster than Bednarek and Lyles, both of whom finished the final stretch in 9.34. 52 seconds. Previously, Tobogo holds the under-20 world record in the 100 meter. He made a big impact at the 2023 World Championships in Budapest, winning silver in the 100 meter and bronze in the 200 meter. His winning time of 19.46 in the 200 meter was a new personal best, beating his previous record of 19.50 at the London Diamond League in July 2023. Now, he has the gold medal in the Olympics men's 200 meter, achieving all of this at only 21 years years old. Tobogo's win in the 200 meters was a significant achievement, crowning him the 2024 Olympic champion. This victory not only placed him among the fastest sprinters in history, but also made him the first athlete to secure a gold medal for Botswana in Olympic history, making his country proud. His performance showcased his incredible speed, determination, and ability to shine on the world's biggest stage. One of the main reasons for Lyles' defeat was his overconfidence. After winning gold in the men's 100 minuters, he was too confident. His entrance to the track, jumping and running with joy, made it seem like he thought he had already won the men's 200 meter as well. That's all for this video.